Hello and welcome back. I'm Teresa Howes and this is The Creative Care Project. going to be making what you could call a bird restaurant. <laughs> so it will contain a bird feeder and a little basin for them to grab some water while they're on their journey through your back garden. So as before you're going to get a bag full of recreate materials that I have selected and put together for this project. Let's have a look inside and see what you have. First of all, you'll get another rod like last week that we used to make our wind chimes. But you'll notice an extra little piece here. You'll find out why later on. Then, you have a flower pot. Used before, loved before. So hopefully we can create something new with it this time. piece of twine for at the end to hang your little birdie restaurant from a tree branch or windowsill. A plastic lid which will hold the water at your birdie restaurant. Some stickers to help us with the adhesive part so to actually put the pieces together, we will need these stickers. I have a bag here of more twine and some colored wool. These will help us decorate our little bird feeders. And last but not least, the pièce de résistance, the main course, a little fat ball for your birdie pals. So that's what's inside the pack. Now let's go make something. Okay, so here are all our lovely things laid out nicely on the table. We have our wooden rod with our extra little leg. We have our flower pot. Loved once, loved twice. <laughs> we have our little plastic lid. We have some stickers. We have the short twine for hanging it up at the end. We have our decorative twine and our decorative wool. And last but not least, a fat ball. Okay. So I'm going to put these guys to the side because we don't need them until the end. Yeah. So I think I'm going to start with attaching the flower pot to the wooden rod. Okay. So this is where our little leg comes in handy. What we're going to do is we're going to put that little leg to the side of our flower pot. Not all the way, just kind of like halfway. It's up to you. And I'm going to use one of our stickers to hold it in place. Make sure to press down on the sticker so that all of the air bubbles are gone from the edges so we can get the best use out of our sticker and it won't just fly off. 
Okay, that feels good, nice and strong. Perfect. We already have half of our bird restaurant created. Then I'm going to attach our little water ball. You can see how this is going, right? Okay, with this one, I'm actually only going to use some of the sticker. There's a little section that says pull and it's actually a second sticker that can be used. But you can use the whole sticker, it's up to you. Once again, turn it upside down and you're going to place the sticker about halfway and what I do, I squeezed the sides of the sticker to try and get it as close to the lid as possible. Okay, haha, -ha, and it's stuck. Fantastic. As I said, you may want to use the whole sticker, but I think it's quite big, so it's up to you. Um, see how you get on. Um, what would be ideal is a little bit of glue gun if somebody around could have something like that and give you a hand. Otherwise, it's pretty much done. I'll bar the decoration and hang it up. So, we will start with decorating our flower pot, which will also act as a way of reinforcing that sticker at the back, keeping it dry um, and keeping it held on really well. So I'm going to start wrapping the flower pot with the twine. So to attach the string to your wood, we're just going to do a little knot. A single knot will do. Just cross them over and tuck that loose end underneath. Give it a tight pull, not too tight, you don't need to. Um, it will stay where it is. Then we're going to start wrapping the string around our flower pot, like so. You can try and get the twine um, quite close to where you've already, so try and as I said, like push it up as you're going. Put the twine side by side. When you get to the end of your flower pot, it can get a little bit tricky because it might slip off here. So you can actually go work your way back up. And then with a the loose end, just find a little section and tuck it under. So that's the twine part, already looking pretty cool. Okay, and then to add a little bit of colour, we're going to follow that with some coloured wool. Nice. This is a beautiful colour, this one. Hopefully the birds like it too. Okay, to start your wool, simply just do your little knot. You might want to do two knots so it's nice and secure. And as before, just simply wrap it all around. Remembering when we get to the end to just go back up. 
Now, and as before, with the end, you just find a loose part, tuck it under, and maybe tuck it under twice. Okay, pretty cute. Now, all that's left to do is attach our string for hanging. So because this part is going to be heavier than this part, we need to make sure the string is coming from this point of the flower pot. So by, what I'm going to do is, you can see with the flower pot, there's holes at the back. Obviously it's when you're using it as a flower pot to let the water drain through, but we're going to use those holes to our advantage. We're going to thread the twine through the hole that is parallel with the stick that we've just put in. So it's creating a straight line all the way here. It's just to give it a good bit of balance. Then we're going to thread it through. We're going to catch it on the other side, wherever it is. And then we're going to bring the back part to the front. And yet again, we're going to practice our tying skills where we cross them over and tuck it under. Give it a good pull. And I'm going to do a second knot because this part could get a bit heavy. we don't want our little birdies to fall out of it when they're having a snack. That'd be quite terrifying. Okay, so it's a really good tight knot there. It's a double knot, tied once, tied twice, and ready to take some weight. With the other end, we're going to do our loop again, like we did last week, <clears throat> where we wrap it around our finger and we shove one end through the looped part and pull. Okay, so that's your loop created. Oopsies, and I every time I always pull that part through. Try not to do that because it'll just make your life harder. You can change the size of your loop by shoving extra rope through. Okay, and then all you need to do is just slide it on And yet again, it falls out. Hopefully you won't have this much difficulty. And then I'm bringing the loop top to the top of the wood, the flat part, because it will help with balance. Okay, give it a good pull. My loop is on and you can shove it all the way in as far as the water dish to give it a good, strong base. Then all that's left to do is add the food. And in it goes. Okay, so now it's time to hang our bird feeders. So you will notice when you hold it up without the fat ball inside, that it's a little bit lopsided. <laughs> and kind of tilted. But once you put the fat ball in, it balances, okay? So you will need to figure out which way to hang it, whether to be long, short, whatever way is going to work best to keep it level. And once you get this, once you figure out which way works best, I recommend putting a little knot here at the top. So create your loop again, Wrap it around your fingers and tuck the loop through and pull. So then it's always going to be the correct balance, even though this is a bit sideways. <laughs> it's always going to be the correct balance for what you wanted to do. Okay, now all that's left is to hang it outside so the birdies can feast. <laughs> I've been Teresa House. 
You've been awesome. This has been the Creative Care Project. See you next time. Bye.